Hello everybody, this is Company of Wizards, vlog episode number two. Today we're going to be talking about my super portable traveler's guitar rig, which consists of nothing else than just my laptop and a couple of software things on it. Um, going to have a bit of a chat of why it's great, why I like it, what I do to make it sound good, share my presets with you, and yeah, hope you enjoy. So a quick background story of how this episode came to be. Over the past seven years, I've been living a very nomadic lifestyle. I've been working in two different countries a year, moving house two or three times a year, flying all across the world and stuff. And there was just no space for me to ever bring a electric guitar and an amplifier. But then a year and a half ago, I bought a new laptop, a MacBook Pro 2015. And with that, uh, came GarageBand and GarageBand is uh, man it blew my mind like I, I, I heard it was all right it was you know, as a like a entry to uh, to a music recording and music creation kind of software but what I didn't realize that it was super fun to tinker around with with all the virtual amps that's got built in and like all of um, basically all of the things you need to jam at home and make your laptop GarageBand your amplifier um, and suddenly, all of a sudden, I was like, hey, I got this this new software on my laptop, which is basically my full uh, guitar rig now. It fits in my backpack. Let's start bringing it with me on my travel. So now with, um, with my amplifier in my backpack, and uh, I was able to bring my guitar, my electric guitars with me on my travels. And uh, it's been super fun. No regrets. And over the last year and a half, I came across a couple of tricks to make the guitar sound a little bit better. In these virtual amplifiers and uh, I'd like to share them with you so here we go I've got GarageBand open and when I first started tinkering around with GarageBand the preset that I like most was the double driven and the double driven preset you can find it on their electric guitar and bass you click it you go to crunch guitar and there it is boom double driven and um, what this amplifier preset is 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 based on a Vox AC 15 or an AC 30 uh, it's got a very vintage style microphone in front of it. It's got a bit of a vintage vibe to it. And um, on the pedal board, and this is what makes it double driven, there's two treble boost overdrives hooked up to it. And what they've done with this preset is there's a bit of a mixer here that splits the signal in two, sends it to the two different overdrives, melts it back together, and you got this kind of like fun left and right stereo sound going on. And um, this is what it sounds like. first a favorite preset and then as I started delving more into all the different amplifiers and stuff the amp that I really liked was the stadium combo also known as the red-headed rock preset in garage band uh, it's based on a high watt um, amplifier which are famous I believe for going super loud and staying clean uh, I changed the EQ a little bit a bit more treble a bit more mid and uh, I changed the microphone from that vintage microphone that we used before to this uh, dynamic 609 uh, it's got a little bit more of a crisp sound to it, a little bit more range to it, I believe. And um, yeah, I think this preset is really, really fun. So let's go check that out, see what that sounds like. <laughs> GarageBand that always bothered me a little bit and that is that the pedal selection and the distortion it didn't really quite do the job for me so if you go over to the pedal selection there's heaps of options there's the vintage drive that's the one that I actually kind of liked and then there's the double dragon I don't really like it there's the high drive which is alright sometimes but not always and all of these fuzzes and distortions and stuff I thought they were all a little bit average but there was a solution and that solution was Logic Pro. 
Logic Pro blew my mind. So I'm just going to go over my guitar presets real quick. Um, I've got two channels set up here for my guitars. Uh, it's basically the same preset as I used in GarageBand for the amplifier. Same microphone, same settings pretty much. Uh, but there's one big difference. And over here on the left on these plugins, I made a plugin of distortion, selected clip distortion. And basically what this does is um, you can make your own distortion pedals and it is sick. There's a bunch of presets on it. Right now I've got it set to clean boost, which is really good. Uh, another one I really like is the 70 Stonebox. They're really cool. And you can change everything about them. You can change all of these knobs and basically have your boost be super clean or really grainy or um, change the texture of it. You can make it a, just the highs, just the lows. You can um, basically a bit of a, a bit of an EQ in there as well. It's awesome. And you can do this with um, all of these presets, tweak them to whatever you like, want them to be, which is really cool. So I've added in one of those. But before we start and have a listen uh, to what that sounds like, uh, I want to share with you a little bit of a trick what I did here. It's on my second guitar channel. Uh, I've working with the same amp, but I've changed the speaker cabinet to the Vox speaker cabinet. And I've changed the microphone to the Dynamic 57. It's got a little bit of a higher, lighter, more twangy sound to it. And if we pan our first channel with the old settings all the way to the left, and once with the other, the Vox cabinet and the other microphone over to the right, it sounds amazing. Let's go and have a listen to what this sounds like with the clean boost activated and um, the panning's happening. It's so sick. So that was, uh, that was pretty fun. I think these settings sound sick, but uh, there's one more thing I want to show you guys real quick. So far, we've only played with uh, our clean boost activated, but uh, the other one I'd like to show you is, let me turn these off real quick, um, is I did the same thing uh, using our clip distortion things, but this time I've kind of modified the 70 Stonebox setting to a more, um, to a more distorted, distorted kind of sound and uh, I'm going to activate that on both our channels. And then we're going to see what that sounds like. It's, uh, it's pretty rowdy. I like it a lot. So uh, enjoy this one. So those are kind of my presets that I'm using right now on Logic Pro. Um, ideal for if you uh, if you just want to jam along to some tunes, doing some actual recording, or you can even play gigs with it and you don't want to bring your amplifier, plug it straight into the PA from your laptop onwards or from your audio interface, and it's pretty much good to go. I love it. It's portable. You can jam it anywhere, hook it up to anything. Options are limitless. I think it's really great. So uh, yeah, definitely give that a go. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and do all us company a wizard. It's a huge favor. Uh, you could even hit the notification button. I'm trying to make one vlog every month, uh, which is not a whole lot. So you better get notified. So hit that bell button. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day.